He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's all yellow. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's a yellow owl. Mowing is an owl. He loves to have fun. He loves to jump and them and all day. He loves to play. Bam, 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 bam. It's a bun, bun, sing. It's an owly thing. He falls so much. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. He's mowing the owl. Hootie fun. Flappity flappity flap 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 flappity flappity flap 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 flappity flappity flap 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 Hello Molin Hello Mr. Narrator How are you today? I'm doing good How are you today? Trying to do better And hello to all of you guys as well Ooh, what's this here? An ice cream cone. Mmm, Molin, have you ever had an ice cream cone before? I have, Mr. Narrator, but there are certain flavors that I never had before. Like, theirs has mint. I haven't tried the mint flavor. I haven't tried the guacamole flavor. Ew, there's a guacamole ice cream flavor? Well, I guess there is. I mean, I never know because, you know, I'm not much of an ice cream eater because, you know, owls don't really eat ice cream that much. But I will give it a shot of this one. What's this flavor? Wait a minute, no, no, don't tell me. Uh, Mullen, I'm pretty sure you know what that flavor is. I know, Mr. Narrator. I want to guess this flavor. I don't need you telling me the flavor. I want to guess the flavor on my own. Okay, let's see. Um, It's pink. Mm, it's too creamy. Strawberry. It's strawberry flavor ice cream. Oh! Oh! It's cold! It's cold! It's cold! That's some cold ice cream. Yeah! I got a brain freeze! Wow. I guess ice cream really isn't your kind of treat. Yeah! That's because owls are not meant to eat ice cream. Ice cream is not for owls. Birds can't eat ice cream. Uh, uh, uh. Mullen? Munchie! Oh! No! I wasn't eating ice cream. If I was eating ice cream, then that would just be weird or something. Ice cream? You had ice cream? Uh, no, I haven't. Actually, Monchi, he has. Okay, fine. I won't yell anymore. Yes, I've had ice cream, but I already threw it away because it's too cold. Do not eat that ice cream. You are going to hate it. Strawberry flavor, it gets on your nerves, really. Okay. So, um, what you got plans for tonight? Oh, I don't know, girl. I, I got nothing planned on me, really. Really? Not even like a big date? A date? Yeah. Um, don't you want to go on a date with me? Wow. Now that I think about it, Machi, I never went on a date with you before. Yeah, Ma yeah, Mullen, you never took me out on a date. And I never went on a date with you before. Yeah, that's because when I first met you, I didn't have time to take you on a date because, you know, Jacob was your boyfriend. Yeah, Jacob's been my boyfriend ever since I met you. Yeah, ever since you met me, you've been with Jacob. Jacob's been the only boyfriend you had. Yes, but now that Jacob is not really my boyfriend anymore, he's just my regular friend, and you're now my new boyfriend, I want to do something with you. Okay, well, if you want to go on a date, then um, what kind of date should it be? We can do anything with each other. We, you can take me to a park. You can take me out for dinner. You can take me to, like, a movie theater. Wait, I was going to movie theaters? Oh, yeah, Mr. Narrator. There's lots of things you don't know about an animated owl. Lots of things you don't know about an animated owl. There's lots of things. We have movie theaters and everything. It's like, you know, the different front talking animal. Well, we're going on a date, right? Sure, we can go on a date. It's just that I didn't know we were going to go on a date, like, tonight. Yes, I want to go tonight. Dang, why you want to go tonight? Because because I don't want to wait that long, Molin. I don't want to wait that long. You know I don't, don't like waiting that long. I know you don't like waiting that long. Take me tonight. Take me tonight. Take me tonight. Take me tonight. Okay, first, I'm going to need you to get out of my face. Bang! Ow! We can go tonight. Really? We're going to... Okay, calm down. Calm down. Psh! Mullen, stop doing that. You're going to make me hurt myself. Sorry, girl. I just want to let you know. If we're going to go tonight, I got to make sure I got nothing planned. Be right back. See you. Mullen? Wow, Monchi. Mullen left you. Where did he go, Mr. Narrator? I think he went home for a minute. Oh, well, you better hurry back. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I? Okay, do I got anything planned? Okay, no. No bills to pay? No. No laundry to do? No. No dinner to make with anybody else? No, not even no tag, not even no no freeze tag or tech with Jacob again like last time, and he always wins. No, that's not on the list. Okay, good. I got plans for a date. I'm back. 
dang, that was fast. But, uh, but how did you? Manji, it turns out that I have nothing planned on my calendar. So, yes, I will be able to take you on a date tonight. Yay! Thank you, Mullen! I'll see you at 7. What, 7? Man, why 7? Okay, you know what? Fine. Um, 7 it is. I'll see you at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Why 7 o'clock? What's wrong with 7 o'clock? Because I gotta get ready and everything. Ah, I hear you. Yeah. I mean, going on a date right now, it's gonna take time. Like, I gotta get ready. Like, I gotta take a shower. I gotta brush my little owl teeth and everything else. Like, I don't know if I'm ready to go on a date with Manchi. Like, won't this be the worst day ever? And, uh! Wow, Molin, watch it! Sorry, Scott! Scott! Oh? What's up, Molin? You can help me! Help you with what? Well, here's the big news. Tonight, Manchi wants me to take her out on a date. Whoa, Molin! I know, I understand that you and Manchi are boyfriend and girlfriend now, but taking her on a date, that's like a big thing to do. I know! I didn't expect for us to go on a date. I don't want this date to be a disaster. She really, really, really wants to go on a date. But I don't know if I'm ready for taking owls on a date because, you know, ever since I first met Manchi, I never had a chance to take her out on a date because Jacob was her boyfriend. Right. Jacob was her boyfriend. Yeah. Hey, Molin, why are you talking about me and Manchi from the first place? Jacob, now that you're here, you know what? You've been around Manchi for like so long. What was the last thing you did with Manchi? What do you mean by that? Well, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Please don't get mad. What I'm about to tell you right now, you better not get mad. Well, it depends on whatever you're going to say. Okay, Manchi wants me to take her out on a date tonight at 7 o'clock. Aren't you going to get frustrated about it? Punch me in my eye? Swing me in the air and wait for an airplane to come run me over? Mullen, why would I get mad at you because Machi is taking you out on a date? Because Machi used to be your girlfriend, and now that she's not your girlfriend anymore, you know, she's not your girlfriend anymore, she's my girlfriend, I just thought you were going to get mad at me because she's spending more time with me. Mullen, I just, when I first met you, and I found out you were in love with Machi, I let you have her. I let you deserve her. You deserve Machi more than I do. I mean, I understand she used to be my girlfriend, but now that I realize how much you love her and I treated you so bad about it, yeah, it is true. You was in love with her, right? Ever since you first met Manchi, you was in love with her so much. You wanted her all to yourself, and I accepted that. That's why I let you get her. So why would I get mad about it? Oh, well, I'm just saying because you used to be in a... It's okay, Molin. Like I said, Manchi is your girlfriend now. You're in charge of her. Okay. Well, like I was saying, tonight she wants to go on a date, and I don't know. Like when you, when when I wasn't here by then, back then I wasn't here. But what kind of stuff did you used to do with Manchi? Well, I did take her out on a date, and I did take her out for a fly date. A fly date. What's a fly date? Well, a fly date is when you go up in the sky. You know, we're owls. We fly in the air, and we you know we just sit up on top of the tree. You know, looking at the world at night. Because, you know, owls are meant to be seen at night. And we just look around the whole city at everything. We get a good view at the city. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. I can't even talk about it. Oh, so beautiful. I even have tears just remembering it. The first time me and Manchi went on a date, it was like a long time ago. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, me too. Cheer. Dang, dude, why you have to fall on me? Should have got out the way. I didn't know you were going to fall on me. Man, get your little stanky out butt off of me. And ever since then, we had big memories together. Whoa, I want to do the same thing. Well, you know what? You came to the right guy. I know the perfect tree for you to have a flight date with. Okay, how do we have a flight date? Right in that tree, right up there. <sighs> yup, just go up there and you and Manchi can have a heck of a date. Okay, thanks for the advice, guys. <sighs> I'm going to make this the best date ever she's ever had. Manchi will love me for the rest of her life. You know she already loves you, you know. You don't have to make you don't have to make her love you even more. Yes, I do. This has to be special. No it doesn't. Yes it does. Yes it does. No, 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 no. Marlin Thanks for coming to thanks for coming to pick me up, Molin. Aw, oh, anytime, Manchi. We're girlfriend and boyfriend. We gotta be there for each other. Come on, ready for our date? I'm ready. I decided to do something different. What's that? You know how you and Jacob used to go on our date together? I do remember. Yeah, what was that thing like a fly date? The fly date? Mullen, how do you know about that? Well, I don't wanna be no spoiler, but 
I asked Jacob what kind of stuff he used to do with you, and he told me something about some flight date. Oh, yeah. Me and Jacob, we used to go on a flight date. We used to go up on a tree and look at the view of the city together. Oh, really? Yeah, we did. Oh, awesome. Well, I want to do the same thing with you. Just me and you, girl. Just me and you. Hey, I think we should go spy on them. Why would you want to go spy on them? Because people do this all the time. When somebody's having a date, the other person want to go spy on them and see how the date is going. Yeah, but I really don't want to do that. They're just trying to have a good time. We don't want to get on their nerves. Man, I don't care about you, but I want to go spy on them. Fine, we'll spy on them for a little bit and then we got to leave them alone. Because, you know, that used to be my girlfriend too. Well, maybe you can, you and her can have an argument and then you can win her back. Dude, we're not doing that. No, I don't want Monchi back. Molin has her. I don't want her back. Molin deserves her more than I do. Ah, yeah. Now, doesn't this feel so nice? I finally took you out on a date just like you wanted. Yes, I'm so happy we went on a date. Because I never went on a date with you before. Yeah, well, like I said, because I'm, I'm just getting started meeting you. Because ever since I met you, I didn't know what you was. I didn't know if you really liked me at first because you were really in love with Jacob and everything. But now that you and I are together, we're going to start a whole other life together. Yeah, we are. So tell me, Molin, what's the best thing about you and me? Well, the best thing about you and me is that, you know, we get to see each other every day. That's the thing, right? Exactly. And tell me, do you picture of us having kids together in the future? <coughs> kids? Yeah. Like, you, you know, one day you and I can have a kid. Uh, I don't want to be so disgusting right now, but I guess having a kid won't be so bad. You know that? Yeah, I'm, I would love to have a kid. I want to name my kid, like, Molin Jr. Hey, I was going to name my kid that first. Now you stole my name. Did I? Yeah, I'm, I was going to name my own kid Molin Jr. And then you can name yours, you know, um, Monchi Jr. Actually, I would name my little Monchi. Or Monchi Det. Monchi Et. I don't think so. Oh, well, yeah, one day I want to name my kid Molin Jr. And then, you know, when he get up older, he doesn't have to be called Molin Jr. anymore. His name can just be Molin or Jr. But I stick with Jr. Because Jr. That's really a good G. That, that, that's a J. J for Jr. That's something right there. Right. Like Molin Jr. Man, what is with all this Molin and Jr. and all that? Ew, so disgusting. They're talking about having kids and all that. Well, you're the one who wanted to get around this. I didn't say nothing about coming here. Oh, well, we can leave if you want. I want to leave. I want to leave. I don't want to be here. I think I've been here enough. <sighs> ah! what, what was that? I don't know. But whatever that was, let's ignore it. Come on, let's finish our date. Don't let no weird looking sound stop us from having a date. You're right. Let's ignore it. So, um, what's new with you? Oh, nothing. Just trying to live the life, you know me. Plain old Molin the Owl trying to live the life. So, I'm um, so the Oh, were you going to say something? Go ahead. No, I'm going to let you say that. No, no, no. I feel like you were going to say something. I don't want to interrupt you, but I feel like you were going to say something. No, no, no. If you want to say something, go ahead. I'm going to stop talking and listen to you for a minute. Molin? Molin! Oh, oh, dang, Monty! Did you just put your feet in my face? I wanted to wake you up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go to sleep and... Molin! Huh? Oh, sorry. Molin! Uh, yeah, yeah? Who's there? Uh, is it laundry? Oh, I'm sorry, Monchi. I'm starting to ruin our date. No, buddy. You're doing fine. No, I'm not doing fine. I'm ruining our date. I just want us to have a good time together. You know, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And since we're boyfriend and girlfriend, I want us to have a good time together. And instead, I'm ruining on it all up. You're not ruining it all up. I'm glad you took me on a date. You are? Of course I am. That's why I love you. I love you too, but... How do I know if you're still loving me for this date? I'll show you how. Like that? You know, that kiss meant a lot. Yup, that meant a lot right there. See? You're not ruining this date. Let's catch this moment together. You're right, Monchi. I love you so much. I love you too, Moment. Monchi used to be my girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore. 
But I'm so happy that her and Mullen are starting to get along in a big relationship. What do you mean? They've been doing that from the first. It's not about you, dude. Fine. So, how was the date? It was so awesome. Uh, you know, I hope in the future that we do have kids. Because right now, Manchi is the only woman that I really need. I'm so glad that you're finally... Starting to scrunch it up a little bit. Why did I waste my whole night? Why did you? You're watching Mole and the Owl, Hootie Fun. We'll be right back. Uh oh. I'm oh, Melper. Melper. We're gonna go find some more meerkats! Yeah! Yeah! Aw, they're so cute! And stuffy. Animal stuffies! Aww. In every box of Merkable cereal, you can get a Meerkat Day animal plushie. And snuggle up. Find one, and especially more boxes of Merkable cereal, part of a complete breakfast. The Meerkat Day, in theaters September 2nd, rated PG. Wow, look at this tall tree. I've always wanted to climb a tree. Du -du 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 -du. Did you know Chico's favorite line is morning day? You mean every day he wakes up. Yeah, yeah. And did you know that Teagles love... Carrots! <laughs> now in every box of Petal Cereal, you can get a Chico and Friends 3 activity book. Teagle starts with T. Cool! Find one, and specially marked boxes of Petal Cereal, part of a complete breakfast. Chico and Friends 3, in theater September 23rd, rated PG. Time to eat some lunch, exactly. Mmm, delicious, tasty, scrumptious. Excuse me, mind if I join in? Are you an armadillo? I sure am an armadillo. What is that? Oh, you mean this? This is fruit tubes. Whoa, what are fruit tubes? Fruit tubes is a fun snack that the whole family will love. It's full of so many fruits that you love to eat. So many fruits. F all fruits? All fruit. Try some. Let me try some. Ow! Bam! Those were good! I know they are. That's why everyone loves them. Can I have some more? Sure you can. Have as many as you want. Come on, I get some more. Listen. Mm. Wow. Everybody loves my fruit tubes. <laughs> Wink. Now you can get your own fruit tubes. Fruit tubes. They're fruit, fruit, fruity. See the fruit? Man, I want some popcorn. Well, no fear there. We got just the right popcorn for you to try. What's that? Orange pops. Orange pops? Orange pops. Orange pops is that kind of orange popcorn. Then when you pop it in the microwave, it'll turn all orange. And it tastes like oranges, but in a popcorn way. Try some. Okay. Ow. Whoa, they exploded. They loved it. I knew they was going to love it. It's orange feeling. Try orange pops popcorn. Orange fouling. Your next spy mission begins with Clackners. Clackners is the next binoculars that you'll need for your next mission. With over 40 inches of seeing, clear glass look through ends, with buttons for forward and back, spy on your friends, and see what they're doing. <laughs> gotcha! You got me! Uh, let me see those! <laughs> Clackner binoculars, each sold separately, batteries not included. <sighs> we got the carrots, and we got the fruit. Let's make some carrot flavor alarms. Let's do it, yeah! Chopping carrots, yeah! Let's squeeze the grapes. Ah, it's in my face! <laughs> Bendo, those are for the alarms. Sorry, Onion. Grab some alarms. Bingo! Let's see how we did. Done up. Ah, la la la! La 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 la! Try new carrot flavor alarms. Your taste will taste like a lermy taste. And see Teagles only in theaters August 5th. Ow! Those were Teagolicious! <laughs> it's time to bust some antlers. What? You wanna bust out deer's antlers? That's a little harsh, don't you think? Y'all know what I mean. It's time for us to roll out. Oh, you could've said it like that. Man! Based on J Turb's movie, Damn Manny, comes a new series featuring the Dearlyings. 
The Dearly Yanks are back in their very own TV show. <laughs> oh man, do people find me annoying? Yes, people do find you annoying. They always did and always will. With big adventures, pfft, new comedies, uh, uh, and special appearances from some of the old characters. Hey, we're the bug viruses, and we don't like to get people sick. Oh, it's you guys. What are y'all doing here? We decided to come see our best buddies. I can't believe you actually remember us. Why wouldn't we remember y'all? Probably because it'll be like a difficult change. And it's on Melper. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm whooping by myself. Isn't that lonely? Dearlyings, a brand new series coming September 10th on Melper. Melper. Hey! Is that how you say hey to people? Boo! Hoo hoo! Hey, Bonner, how about an outright, huh? Great idea, Molin! Take me for a ride. Hang on to your hoots! <laughs> but I don't have no hoots! What? You're watching Melper. Melper. Bang! Ow! Rough landing, yeah! Ooh, he's mulling the owl, he's mulling the owl, he's mulling the owl, he's all yellow, he's mulling the owl, he's mulling the owl, he's mulling the owl, he's a yellow owl, mulling is an owl, he loves to have fun, he loves to jump and them and all day, he loves to play, bam, 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 it's a bun, bun, sing, it's an owly thing, he falls so much. Psh. He's mulling the owl. He's mulling the owl. He's mulling the owl. He's mulling the owl. Hooty fun. Food, food, food for food. Food, food, food for food for food. Hey guys, are you in for a treat? Oh yeah, Jacob! Hello, Molin! Hello, Mr. Narrator! Hello, friends! What's in it today? Well, Jacob has brought something for all of us to share to eat. Ooh, it must be lunchtime for you guys. It is lunchtime! Come on, come follow us! Hey, Jacob! Look at you know! Bringing lunch like always! Oh yeah, you know me, Scott. I'm always bringing lunch for all of us. Well, what did you bring this time? Take a guess! Wait, I, I already know what you brought. I can smell it. You brought pizza. Man, how do you know that? I told you. I can smell it. I know what pizza smells like. What if pizza didn't have no smell? What if any food didn't have no smell? Would you still guess what it was? Well, it, judging from my taste buds. Ugh. All right, guys, enough. Come on, pizza. Let's eat. Ow, ow. Okay, number one, owls do not eat pizza. But hey. We're different owls, so what the heck? Pizza. Did you put mozzarella in this? Uh, I didn't put mozzarella in that. They did when they was making it. Oh, I put this mozzarella on here. I told you, I didn't put mozzarella on there. They did when they was making it. All right, my turn. He does this all the time every time we have food. What? Become so greedy. What? I'm hungry. You're hungry every day from a day from a day from a day from a day. Yeah, you eat too much. Slow down. Yeah, you know we gotta eat too. Yeah, but I mostly gotta eat more than you guys. Oh, really? How come you gotta eat the most and we can't really eat that most? Well, probably because you guys don't have a good sense of hunger like I do. What does that have to do with us trying to eat so much? Um, I don't know. You learn that as yourself. Um, yum, yum. Uh, um, yum, 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 yum. Um, yum, yum. You ate the entire pizza? Uh, maybe. Uh, 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 he burped. Well, there goes our lunch. Goodness gracious, there goes our lunch. Wow, Molin. I can't believe you guys had a perfectly good lunch and Brent just had to show off and eat it all up. Don't worry, Mr. Narrator, because I know Jacob is going to go get some more food. Right, Jacob? You know me, Molin. <sighs> all right, Jacob. What did you bring this time? What, Mr. Narrator? Since Brent ate the whole entire pizza, I decided to get us a sub sandwich. Ooh, sub sandwich with tomatoes, cheese, lettuce, cheese, and American cheese. Well, I keep saying cheese. I know! <laughs> My teeth! Bread, 
you're going to share this sub with us. You're not going to have it all to yourself. You're going to share it. Yeah, Brad, every time you have food, you want to eat it all to yourself. You're not just going to keep eating up everything from us. Okay, guys, take a piece of bread, and then I take a piece of cheese, and then I... Dude, it's all going to be in the sandwich, you know? Fine, everyone take a piece of that sub, and then everybody save me a piece. We'll see what we can do, bread. Um, yum, yum. Oh, no. Oh, no. Y'all trying to eat it up for me. Well, you're, you're being so greedy. No, 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 no. You're trying to eat it up for me. I cannot accept this. Um, yum. Bread, stop it. What are you doing? Um, yum, yum, yum. Mr. Narrator, bread is eating up the sub. Um, bread, you know you have friends over here. Let them have a piece. Sorry, Mr. Narrator, I can't help it. You also can't help the burps. Ugh. Bread, you're getting me so angry right now. You can't just keep taking food from us. You know we have hunger issues just like you do. We love to eat too, which is why I brought corn on the cob. Corn! Don't even think about it. Give me that corn. No, 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 no. Give me that. Bread, stop it. Let us have some. Let him eat it. Now if I eat it first, I'm not going to give you the corn. If you make a promise, you're going to let us get some of it, and then you can have some last. We like to eat more than you do. I know you're the greedy owl, but you got to know, we're greedy owls too. We got to eat our bellies want to be able to sing and dance. You know, listen to my belly. I want to sing and dance. Let me sing and dance before I die myself. Okay. You're right. You're right, guys. You're right. Jacob, you have a point. Mullen, you have a point. Manchi, you have a point. Fairness, you have a point. And Scott, you have a point. And Mr. Narrator, you too. Thanks, Scott. I mean, thanks, Brad. Okay, guys. I promise... I am never, ever, 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 ever gonna eat food from you guys again. Cross my heart. Thanks, Bread. Now, can we please have some corn? You guys earned that corn. Go ahead. Have some taste. Thanks, Bread. And do not worry. We will save you some. Oh, don't worry about me, guys. I just want to make sure y'all eat. I eat too much. No stomach. You're gonna wait your turn. You have so much in you. Let my friends eat. You get to eat all the time. And my friends don't get to eat that much all the time. You wait your turn. <clears throat> Feed me now. No. Feed me. No. Feed me before I burst out of joy. I like to see that happen. <clears throat> oh, he was serious. Fine. I guess I'll just ask them for one piece of corn. Hey, guys. Would it be a good idea if I just get one piece of corn? Bread. What did we just talk about? Come on, guys, just one piece of corn. My stomach cannot stop bursting. Your stomach can wait. No, he cannot wait. Oh, here he goes. There we go. Ah, yum. Oh, my goodness, bread. Um, yum, yum. Bread, stop it. You're not being fair. Um, yum, 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 yum. Um, oh, my gosh. Guys, I have a feeling that... You know what? Huddle up. Huddle up. This is getting too insane. Yeah, Bread just eats everything like he's a pile of piggies. Yeah, every time we have something to eat, he chows it down like a big, big dinosaur. Yeah, how do we make him stop being so greedy? Should we hypnotize him to stop being greedy? Uh, I don't see how hypnotizing is going to do something. I mean, I don't know how that's going to turn out. What he needs to learn is that we need to eat more than him. We should probably make a big spell and then cast his stomach to where he'll never be able to eat again. He'll be starving for the rest of his life. And when he needs something to eat, he can starve to death. That's too terrifying and creepy and a nightmare. Fine. Anyone got any better ideas since mine is a spooky one Halloween style? I was thinking maybe we can tell him his future. Oh, a future? Yeah, we can tell Brad that in the future, if he keeps eating like this, he'll turn into a big, big monster. Oh, Mullen, you might be onto something. Great thinking, Mullen. Yeah, Mullen, great thinking. Thanks, Mr. Narrator. Let's try that and see. Hey, Brad. Who said that? Who said that? It's me. Your mind. My mind? My mind is talking to me? What do you want, mine? What do you want? I'm here to tell you that you eat so much. You eat so, so much that you're putting yourself in a hunger issue. Oh, no. Am I? Yes. 
and I'm here to tell you your future. <gasps> my future? Tell me my future, Mr. Mine. I will gladly do so. Wink. Ooka-cha, 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 ooka-cha. Uh, why are you making that crazy sound? That's the sound of me going inside your mind. Ooka-cha. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna say it with you. Ooka-cha, 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 ooka-cha. Dang, what was that? Whoa! Bread, welcome inside of your mind. Whoa, pretty cold in here. Yeah. That's from all the good milkshakes you've been having. Woo! I'm here to tell you your future. You eat so much. Molin, is that you talking? Oh, darn it! How you know it was me, Brad? Because I knew I recognized that voice somewhere. At first, I thought that was the narrator. Uh, I'm right here! <laughs> no, that's not narrator. That's me. Molin, why would you lie and say you were in my mind? Okay, you know what, Brad? Fine. I'm going to tell you your future anyway, what if you like it or not. Well, I mean, even though you're still narrating my mind, I still want to hear my future. Oh, okay, well, you should have just said something. I'm right here, I know. So, Bread, you eat so much. That's a bad thing. It is? Yeah, you eat so much, you can make yourself sick. Whoa, I thought if you eat, you won't be sick. Well, that's another thing. But it also says if you eat like too, 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 too much... You could overfill your stomach, and then you could end up bursting your stomach. You could end up hurting your stomach. You'll have to, you know, go to bathrooms a lot. And we don't want that to happen. No, I guess not. Also, I can probably puke. Yeah, who knows? You can throw up all the time, and you won't stop throwing up. You have to take medicine. I don't want medicine. All right, then. We're going to tell you your future in song form. Wait, are you going to sing? This is your future, this is your future, this is your future, this is your future. You eat so much and you gotta stop. Jacob, you gotta stop, bread. You eat too much and you're gonna burst yourself with a donut. Ow! Boom! Bre Jacob, is he dead? You gotta stop eating, eating. You can end up turning yourself into a monster and say, blah! Ah! Far miss, why you scare me? You gotta stop it, dude, you gotta stop it. You're scaring me a little bit. <gasps> Even though I'm a grumpy owl, sometimes I have feelings too. I can get scared. <gasps> oh, Far miss, I, I didn't mean it like, <sighs> get away from me, bread, you're scaring me. Uh, Far miss, wait. You can turn into a freak. You gotta stop it, Brad. Stop it, please. Manchi? You gotta stop eating so much, Brad. It's not good for you. And it's not good for me. I thought we were friends. We, we are friends, Manchi. Not the way I see it. <sighs> Manchi, no. You Sit on. Yeah, I'm talking to you, orange head. You eat too much. Man, I'm gonna put it about to kill it, about to kill it, my soul. You're gonna bust your stomach with lots of blood. You eat too much. You're so darn fat. Lose the diet. Go on a diet. In the end, I'm gonna barbecue ribs. How much you eat? You eat. <laughs> you eat. You eat all day. You're gonna bust your. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Don't think I'm lying. And I'm gonna fly you to the air. Patent pending. You can eat so much, you'll lose your weight. You can lose your whole dignity. Cause you eat too much. You slurp too much. You chew so loudly. Man, if I was angry at you, I'll bust your nose. <laughs> if, if I if you made me annoyed for chewing so loud in my ear, man, I'll bust your beak. I end up busting your and I'ma rip your wing off. I'm doing it and I and I'm not done. I turn you into a chicken wing. Mmm. With hot sauce. Ah! Ah! Where are you going? We ain't done yet. Hey, Mr. Narrator, your turn. Oh my goodness, I've always wanted to rap. Allow me, guys. 
This is narrator talking. You eat too much. You need to slow down. Oh, Mr. Narrator, not you too. Yeah, you talking about bread? You know what I'm talking about. You better lose your diet. You eat too much. You got to stop eating so much. This isn't good for you. You're tearing yourself just for eating so much. Thank you all. And this is Narrator signing out. Peace. I'm out. So now you know about eating so much and you know the truth about eating so much. So what are you going to do now, Brad? I'm going to slide down from eating so I can take my time and share my food the right way. Yeah! Way to go, Brad. You learned your lesson. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry through all these years I've been so greedy and hungry and... And, 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 and thirsty and and, 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 and humanity and hungry. We get it, bread. We get it. You're finally going to share food with us, right? And you're not going to eat it up from us, right? And you're finally going to eat up and learn to give us some food, even though it may be so good to where you got to give it to a whole family and feed hunger? Give it to maybe, I don't know, charity? Yes, I promise. I'm going to share my food the right way. Yay! Thanks, bread. I'm so glad you learned your lesson. Well done, Bread. We're so happy that that mind reading have taught you a lesson. Oh, trust me, Mr. Narrator, it did. Which is why I brought a mouse for us to share. I get so tired of being eaten by birds. And this time, go ahead, have your lunch. Thanks, Bread. Come on, guys, after you, after you. <laughs> but what they didn't know is that I have a spare mouse in my pair. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I may not have to share my food with my friends, but they've forgotten. I bring my own food for myself that they didn't know. Hey! Um, yum, yum. Wink, wink. Um, yum, 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 yum. Ow! 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 Dum, dum. Meet the boy you never met! Bonner, who's that guy with the skin color orange? Bonner, that's all I see! Him and his best friends work together. They all like the same thing. He does. Shake your groovin. 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 It's Bonner. Woo. Steady, 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 steady. Mm. Ah, ah, steady. There you go. Slowly, st slowly now. Take your time. Ah, ah. <clears throat> hey, you did it. Hey, <coughs> I did. All right, now you try. All right, let's got this. Uh, steady now. Steady now. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you got this ton. Uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Right on the floor. Man, I'm not good with chopsticks. Oh, come on. You were doing good the first time. No, you wasn't. Yeah, well, you probably just got to practice a little more. Even if I do practice, Bonner, I'm still not going to get good at using these chopsticks. Darn. Can't even enjoy no good dumpling if I even had to. Yeah, I know. Dumplings may be a tricky thing to use. That's why people just don't like to use them all the time. But some people like to use them because they're fun to use. Well, how come they're so hard to pick up with? Well, you got to be an expert with chopsticks. Well, I'm not no expert. Do I look like an expert to you? Look at my brain. <laughs> Abby! Abby! Whoa, your brain is empty. Right, there's nothing in there to really explore. Oh, forget it. I'm not good with chopsticks. Ah, well, you want to boil these dumplings instead? I, I think that would be a good idea. All right, let's boil them. Good. Boil, boil, boil. Good. Hey. Is something wrong, son? Oh, no, nothing's the matter, Bonner. It's just that fire. Wh what about fire? It's just that I don't really like fire that much. What? What does fire have that, you know, you don't like? Well, it's just that it's hot. It's very hot, 
burning, you can end up burning yourself. I'm not a big fan of fire. Yeah, the worst thing about fire is getting burnt by it. Yeah, I never got burnt by fire. Yeah, you did. Well, okay, fine. I made a mistake. Yeah, you did get burnt by fire before. I got burnt by fire before. Pretty much, not that much people got burnt by fire. I know, that's a good thing. They are so lucky. The people who didn't get burnt by fire yet are so lucky. Trust me. You don't want to get burnt with this kind of stuff. Yes, this stuff is very hot. Yes, I can't imagine if a whole house was on fire. Oh, yeah, if a house was on fire, that would have been a big problem. Right. What if it were like a big house with thousands of people? Like an apartment building? Yeah, picture this. An apartment building was on fire. There was like 50 people inside of an apartment building. They all won't be able to survive a big, you know, apartment because they all would have been dead by the fire. Yes, that's why it's good to call 911 and get the fire department over here. I know. I hope nothing like that ever happens. Oh, well, sometimes that happens in movies and TV shows, but it can't happen in real life. Yes, don't get me wrong. When buildings catch on fire, it can happen in real life. Yes, stuff like that, it can happen in real life. It doesn't have to happen, you know, on a place where you live at. Sometimes it can happen in different places. And then, then again, it would happen in places you live in. Oh, man. It's like, this stuff is real. Yes. You think you can see the stuff in a movie or a TV show? No. Fire? Fiery buildings and fiery houses? That stuff is real. It could happen. Oh, it could happen if you don't be careful. Uh, so if I just be careful, I don't got to worry about catching nothing on fire? Exactly. Well, don't worry about it. Want to watch some TV? Yeah, I wouldn't mind watching TV. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is breaking news. Ah! We got breaking news. Ah! We got really, really, really bad news on the news tonight. Ah! Why does he keep screaming like that? You're right. What I'm doing right now wasn't even necessary. I'm going to stop screaming like that. Anyway, guys, big news alerts. There is a building on fire. Burn. What? What? That's right, there is a building on fire with kids in here. There's kids in here, man. What? A house is on fire with kids in there? Oh my gosh, please tell me this is all a dream. Um, son, you're not dreaming, you know that. I want to be sure, Bonner. Nope, I'm not dreaming. Ah, it's a house on fire! Yes, there is a house on fire with kids inside. If you think I'm lying, take a look at the interview now. <laughs> Billy's on TV. Help! Someone help us! This building is on fire! I won't be able to survive! Help! Help us! There's fire inside this building! Someone has to call the fire department! Or the police! Or the ambulance! Or something! Get us out of here! Storm, wait! Whoever's watching this, they need to come save us! Burn! Ah! This fire is hot! Is there anyone out there who can help us from burning up? I'm scared. Oh, help us, please. We'll give you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars just to save our souls. Yeah, burn. My gosh, if that was happening to me, I would have never, ever, 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 ever wanted to leave my town again. I would want to go live with a superhero who will save my life. But anyway, folks, you heard it from there. So, now that you know, do something. Done! There's a building on fire, and our friends are in there. We gotta go save them. You're right, Bonner. We gotta go save our friends. They are in there getting burnt. Quickly, we must call the fire department and the ambulance. Come on, let's go be the heroes. Belly, Cunny, Blob, Storm, La La. Cunny, we're coming. Oh my gosh, fire. Why did it have to be fire? Why did it have to be fire? Burn, 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 burn. Ah! Okay, everyone, stay together. 
if we just stay together, I'm pretty sure we won't get burnt. Billy, do you not see that fire? That is a lot of fire. That's big balls of fire. Ooh, good for cooking macaroni and cheese on. Blah! Leave the macaroni alone. We're gonna die. Aw, oh, man. Whenever we're in trouble, there's no time for mac and cheese. Burn! Ah, I stand correctly. Ah! Quick! This way! Don't worry, we're coming! Oh no! Ah! Help us! Burn! Ah! It's fire! Ah! I don't... Ah! I hate fire! I hate fire! I will never use fire again if this fire ends up burning us! Ah! Help! Help! Oh my gosh! Our friends are up there! They really need help! Oh gosh! There really is fire up there! Hey! We got the place surrounded! Come out with your hands up! What? What? I thought there was a robber in there. Dude, no, there are no robbers in there! There's people up there getting burned, darn it! Oh, I thought you called police. No! We need ambulance! But police is also good help too, so maybe you should stay. Really? After I just told you that I was gonna arrest some people? Well, can you not do that? Someone is really getting burnt. We need we really need someone to get, you know, not burnt. Right. Yeah, can you at least ah! Okay, um, can I see that um speaker? Oh, sure, kid. Guys, it's me! Can you hear me? Butler! 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 Don't forget about me, guys! Ton! Ton! Guys! We saw you guys on the news getting burnt! Butler! Help! Help, Butler! Butler! Guys, don't worry! We're coming up there to save you! And how exactly are we supposed to get up there? Well, Y'all know how to throw? Yes, we know how to throw. We do, we do know how to throw. Why do you ask? Because we're going to need your super throwing muscles to get us up there at that window. We're going to need you to throw us up that window. And what if you don't make it? Oh, we're going to make it all right. And what if you get burned by the fire when you first go in? Well, there's only one thing to do. Water holes activate. All right, throw us up. We're coming, guys. Ah! We're going in! Don't worry, guys! Don't worry, guys! It'll be okay! Oh, gosh! I hate fire! Don't worry, guys! It'll be okay! Bonner and Tun are coming! Uh, don't forget about the ambulance! Uh, burn! Uh, it's so hot! Ow! That stuff touched my feet! Honey, be careful! Uh, 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 we're gonna die! Not on my watch, guys! The fire team is ready for action! Bonner! Tun! Have no fears, my dear friends! The fire team has come to town to save your butts from burning fire! To save your souls and lose your hope. Um, was that a good thing to say? Well, uh, I was just trying to make a good franchise right there, but I guess I was wrong. Anyway, we're here to we're here to kick some fiery butt. Burner! Burn! Billy, get back! That fire's too dangerous for you! You gotta stay back! Don't worry! Leave it to me! I'll put that fire out like I'm putting a baby to sleep! Ah! Burn! I stand corrected. Fire is too dangerous to mess with. Not on my timer. Ha ah! ha! Back fire! Back you disgusting fire! My boyfriend. Ah! Ah! Quick, everyone, come to me. Fire! Ah! No! No! Oh my gosh! We have to get up there. You're right. We, they might need some backup, and we are that backup. Well, come on. Come on, let's get up there. Quick, use the ladder. Use the ladder. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure we can find a solution to escape all this fire. There is a way. My way. Everyone, come to me. I'll pick you all up and put you on my arm. Yes, Bonner. Put me on your arm. Don't worry, Billy. I got you, girl. Bonner, help. Come on, guys. Ton, quickly. Grab Blob and Lala and put them on your arm. Oh, I've seen heroes do this in movies. When the house is on fire, they grab all the citizens and put them on their shoulder. Wow, son, you are such a strong man. Well, guys, I work out every weekend. 
Don't mention it. <laughs> Burn! Okay, we got everyone. Is that everyone? Oh, uh, you let me know. Is that everyone? All right, hold tight while we bust through that door. <laughs> Wait, what if there's fire on the other end? Don't worry, I got the holes right here. All right, open her up. Ah! Okay, that door is jammed. We can't open it. Don't worry, we're still on the way. Don't panic, don't panic. We're on our way up there. Ah, come on, we have to bust that door open. We got this, guys. We got this. Okay, listen to Belly. Listen, we're going to bust this door open, and we're not going to stop until the door is busted open like a hurricane. Boom! Boom! Do it again. Come on, everybody. Do it again. Yes, Belly. Ah! Again. Ah! Again. Ah! Again. Ah! Ow. My shoulders. At last, Bonner's mix. What? <laughs> this is not no commercial. We're still on the way. Don't worry. Help is on the way. <laughs> Come on. Again. Ah! Oh my gosh, my arm is going to break off by doing this. No, we got to keep doing it until the door breaks open. Again. Ah! You know what? I swear, this is the last time we're doing this. This is the last time. I know this is going to work this time. <sighs> Come on, everybody. We got to use our big strength until the door falls apart. I don't even care if we break the door apart. We got to get out of here. All right, ready? Go. Duh! It's going to work. It's going to work. <sighs> Boom. Did someone call for backup? Oh my gosh! Whoa! Goodbye, cruel world! Ow! Put! I think my nose pooped in. Burn! Put! Put! Wow! Burn! Oh, hate to be a beggy, but that fire is still getting worse! Allow me, boys! Die, you unwoken death of fiery beast demon! It's like I'm burning fire from a baby dragon! This is the last time I ever see fire in my face! Well, the fire's gone. All put out. Steam. You're welcome. Yay! We did it! The fire is gone! Woo! Yeah! Oh, we did it! You all right? I'm fine. Are you good? I'm fine. We did it. We put out the fire. All thanks to these kids right here. Yeah! Whoa! Are you kids okay? We're fine. I mean, I kind of got burnt a little bit, but otherwise, I'm fine. Yeah, your head is kind of torn open. Yeah, that's when we kept breaking that door down. My face kind of torn open. We're going to go back and see. Again! Ah! Ow! See? That's how my face got torn open. We might want well to put some tape on that. I got it. Ah! Wow, guys, I can't believe you guys were really in a burning house. I know, Bonner. That was the most frightening thing that ever happened to us. It's okay. It's okay. You guys are safe now. That's all that matters. Yup. You guys survived that fiery building. That's a good thing. Yup. Thank goodness you guys came to the rescue. Well, we have to come to the rescue. We seen you guys on the news and it kind of got us a little scared because we didn't know what was going to happen to you guys. You guys would have got, you know, burnt apart. And without me and Tun, we would have been like... Fiery daily, ah! But otherwise, thanks, Bonner and Tun. Yay, Bonner and Tun! Yay! Yay! Woo! Ah! My boyfriend! Thank you! Whoa! Yeah! That's 
that's why I don't like messing with fire. Yeah, gotta leave that fire alone for a minute. Or otherwise, try to keep your best distance away from it. Especially when you're baking, like, macaroni and cheese. Oh, Blob, you and your macaroni. <laughs> Do 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 do